How much does YouTube actually pay you? How much do YouTubers actually make? And how much money can you possibly make off of a viral video? Well, today we're gonna be talking about that and exactly how rich you can be on YouTube by using my own analytics as an example. Well, how's it going, guys? My name is Dallas, aka Infernus, and for all of you who are subscribed to this channel, you probably already know that because you've heard that intro a dozen times at least. Unless you don't watch my videos and you're still subscribed to me, which, well, I guess I still appreciate you for that, but, you know, you should probably watch more videos by clicking the notification bell. And subscribe if you haven't already, because, you know, that's always something that's good to do. At least if you want a free 10 years of good luck. But as I was saying, since the dawn of time, YouTube money has always been such a controversial and interesting topic to talk about, simply because money in general is something that's interesting to talk about. And YouTube is a relatively newer type of job that you can pursue in the entertainment industry, and and also be easily able to succeed at simply because it's an open place for you to make videos that could be watched by millions of people. However, I've also said in the past that YouTubers are probably the brokest level of entertainers that you could possibly find in the world, simply due to the fact that it's also the most easiest to succeed in. There's a plethora of YouTube channels and individual people who make videos on YouTube who literally make more views than those who are literally at the top of the entertainment industry such as the late night talk shows and actual mainstream TV shows that are broadcasted on TV and Netflix and etc. And yet they definitely do not get paid even a fraction of the amount of money that these shows get paid. And this is of course because the advertising market of which wants to sell their products to people hasn't entirely moved over to the internet yet. But theoretically this also means that in the future when more advertisers start to move over to YouTube rather than TV, YouTubers will start to get paid even more money. But of course since you clicked this video it means that you want to know how much YouTube actually pays right now. Well that's what I'm here to show you because I can show you exactly how much I've been paid from YouTube. Now, now, this isn't gonna be any usual clickbait how much money I got paid from YouTube video because this is actually going to be showing you the in-depth analytics on why the amount of money that I made off of a certain video was made and how certain analytics can make you get paid even more money and what you can do to actually get paid more money if you are a YouTuber yourself. So without further ado, let's get straight into that. So for this particular example, I'm going to be using one of my most popular videos which just so happens to be entitled How to Get 100 Subscribers on YouTube Every Single Day. And it has around 1.1 million views. So yeah, I don't want to flex too much on you, but it's definitely good enough to make an example for this video. So as you can see, I'm on the analytics page for this video. The first thing people think of is when they think of YouTube views is, oh, there's a rate called revenue per thousand views, or also known as RPM, because for some reason they like to call thousand milli. But that's all good, so what is the RPM of YouTubers? What's the RPM of a YouTube video? Well, the problem is it fluctuates so much and that's why there is never one set amount of money that you make for every single view that you can possibly get. But as we can see in this one video's analytics section, we have a lot of options to take a look at to pretty much determine exactly what caused it to make the amount of money it did. So just about 10 months ago when this video was first posted, since then, this has accumulated about $2,700 of revenue. Now there's a lot of reasons to why this video made that certain amount of money. But as we can see, if we just take a look at the graph, in the times of where it was doing better in terms of views, sometimes it wasn't doing as good in terms of money. Like back here, it was actually doing less in terms of money than it was right here, even though when it comes to views, it was actually getting more right here than it was right here. Back here, when the channel was a lot smaller, back in January 2019, I only had around, you know, 200,000 total subscribers. Now I have close to half a million subscribers, which I... Thank you so much. So because of that, the revenue is going to be a lot higher since the more subscribers you have, the more uh, targeted ads you're going to get through people that want to, you know, put their videos out to more people on average. But why exactly did this video make $2,700? Well, the main reason right here is due to the engagement rate. Now, obviously, we could see the impressions click-through rate is 6 or 8.6%. Now, that basically means 
that out of every single person who's watching this, 8.6% of people, so out of 100, 8.6 people, yep, I literally said 8.6 people, click the video. The more the click-through rate is, like right here, the more money the video tends to make. And that's just a general principle, so it's all about the actual engagement rate. Now, the audience retention is actually not as much of a big deal as some people want to make it out to be. Of course, having people watch all the way to the end of your video, or a good portion of your video, like 80% of the way through, is definitely one of the biggest factors on YouTube, but it's most definitely a little bit overrated if I have to give my own personal opinion about it. So as you can see, this is my main channel right here. This is how much money the entire channel is bringing in. Uh, on a monthly basis, but of course as you can see it is a lot different than uh, you know this video because this video got $2,700 for 1.1 million views Whereas the channel got 2.3 million views and only $2,500. It actually made less this month for twice the amount of views and the reason is mainly because of the types of videos that are varying across my channel most of my live videos such as the longest game of Temple Run, playing Subway Surfers for one year, are, are gathering, you know, up to 10 to 20, even up to 30% of all the views on my channel, and live streams pretty much always have a lower rate of money and engagement that they make rather than an actual video. So for that, they'll usually end up making around one to two dollars in total, which averages out the entire channel to be gaining around, you know, one dollar for the RPM in total. Now, obviously, I make more than this outside of YouTube through my website and through, you know, the affiliate networks that I have, obviously, because otherwise I'd literally be homeless. And of course, I'm very fortunate to have the influence from you guys who, uh, you know, of course, have basically been the reason why I'm even able to keep making videos to do all that stuff and to keep on doing it as well. So generally speaking, for a single video, you're going to make around two to three dollars per thousand views. Or for a popular live stream video such as this, playing Subway Surfers for 365 days, you're going to have a far less amount of money for the amount of views that you make on those types of videos. And just like that, there you have it. That's how much YouTube pays you from an insider himself. So yeah, I really hope my YouTube channel doesn't get terminated for doing this because apparently it's been rumored over a long time that you could actually get in trouble for showing the amount of money you make on YouTube. Good thing I care about being more transparent with my viewers than to actually have the YouTube channel be terminated. So yeah, if this is the last video you ever see from me. Just remember one thing, um, I'm doing this for the views. Just kidding. So thank you guys so much for watching, and if this did help you, then make sure you just kindly disembowel that like button right there. It's about two inches below this screen, but if you're on a mobile phone, it'll be about one inch at the very most. So make sure you go ahead and do that for 10 So make sure you just go ahead and do that for 10 years of good luck, and you will see me in the next video.